Kevin Ellison, he told his coach God told him to do it, but he was showing odd behavior just days before that. KXY Four's Colleen O'Brien is live in Liberty Lake tonight at that apartment complex where that fire took place. And Colleen, you spoke with the Shocks owner today. What other signs of instability was Ellison showing? Uh, well, Coach Brady Nelson said that this behavior, this erratic behavior, started Monday at practice and then just continued to escalate through the week. Uh, on Wednesday evening, he was texting some of the other players, quoting scriptures and signing them as Jesus. This just caught everyone off guard. Our, our players are shocked. No one knew that he would do something like this. But Spokane Shock defensive back Kevin Ellison admits he did and that he set this fire because God told him to do it. It kind of morphed into that, um, that he was Jesus and this was part of, uh, potentially part of the second coming. To say shock owner Brady Nelson is surprised is an understatement. Nothing can prepare you for this. We've been incredibly impressed with Kevin. I mean, mm -hmm. just really pleased with his play, his attitude, the guys like him. Nelson says Ellison had only been with the shock for six weeks and had been a perfect fit for the team until Monday. He was just acting very strange and the next day at practice he was an hour and a half late. He's never been late before. He's always early and at practice he was just kind of not doing the drills, not do, just kind of walking around. By Wednesday night, Nelson says Ellison was sending text messages to other players quoting scripture and signing them as Jesus. Then at 5.30 Thursday morning, Ellison told investigators God told him to set his mattress on fire with a blunt. He's off the team. I mean, unfortunately, I mean, he'll never, I mean, for one, we would cut anyone who did that. I and mean, that's just, you can't do that, but it's a federal crime. That's Kevin Ellison, the rookie. A career-ending move for a 25-year-old who had already made it to the NFL, playing most recently with the Seahawks. And he put people in danger, and I just, he's not in his right mind right now. And, uh, I mean, his career with us in the Arena Football League is definitely over, but I hope that he can get healthy. Despite moving up to the NFL at such a young age, his past uh, is troubled. Uh, he was signed to the Chargers, then let go, then signed to the Broncos, but he was let go from that team in 2010 when he was charged with possessing Vicodin that he didn't have a prescription for. Those charges were eventually dropped. Then he was picked up by the Seahawks, but uh, he was let go by that team as well because he couldn't complete any of his physical tests. Live in Liberty Lake, Colleen O'Brien, KXLY4 HD News.